friends welcome all in this section let us discuss about the basic concepts regarding income tax which every person should know in income tax okay let's get into the chapter the first and foremost a person should know is slab rate this is for an individual if an individual age is below 60 how his income will be taxed if the income of the individual is less than 2.5 lakhs then there will be no tax but if it's a if the individual income exceeds 2.5 lakhs but it was below 5 lakhs then the then the income above 2.5 lakhs will be taxed at a, at a rate of 5 percent if its income exceeds 5 lakh but does not exceed 10 lakh then the income above 5 lakh but within the limit of 10 lakh will be taxed at the rate of 20 percentage but the income which is above 2.5 lakh and but less than 5 lakh will be taxed at a rate of 5 percentage if his income exceeds 10 lakh then the income above 10 lakh will be taxed at the rate of 30 percentage okay then the person senior citizen whose age is above 60 but less than 80 then he, then the basic exemption limit is 3 lakh for the person who is below 60 the basic exemption limit is 2.5 lakh so up to 3 lakh for the senior citizen whose age is above 60 but less than 80 there will be no tax but if his income exceeds 3 lakh but does not exceed 5 lakh then the then the income will be taxed at the rate of 5 percentage the income above 5 lakh for the senior citizen will be taxed at the rate of 20 percentage the income above 10 lakh for the senior citizen will be taxed at the rate of 30 percentage note in case of a non-resident non-resident senior citizen whose age is above 60 but less than 80 basic exemption limit is is restricted to 2.5 lakh very senior citizen whose age is above 80 for this person the basic exemption limit is up to 5 lakh up to 5 lakh there will be no tax for the person whose age is above 80 but but above 5 lakh but within the limit of 10 lakh will be taxed at the rate of 20 percentage and the income above 10 lakh will be taxed at the rate of 30 percentage note in case of non-resident very senior citizen the basic exemption limit is restricted to 2.5 .5 lakh then then uh, then you can simply say that for a non-resident the, the basic exemption limit is 2.5 lakh whatever may be the age irrespective of the age that the non-resident will be uh, will be allowed to a basic exemption limit of 2.5 lakh then section 288a section 280a is the round off of total income the total income should be rounded off to the nearest multiple of 10 so uh, so if my total income is for example if my total income is 2 lakh uh, 2 lakh 40 thousand uh, 2 lakh 40 uh, sorry 2 lakh 40 thousand 3 rupees then as per section 288 my total income should be rounded off to 2 lakh 40 thousand section 288b the tax payable or amount refundable should be rounded off to the nearest multiple of 10 same as above but this is for total income this is for tax payable or amount refundable section 87a rebate rebate is nothing but rebate is a discount to a person whose uh, whose income is less than 5 lakh so let us see the condition rebate under section 87 rebate is allowed only to resident individual know that rebate is allowed only to resident individual rebate is allowed only if the total income is below 5 lakh so it should be individual and this income should be less than 5 lakh rebate is allowed up to up to 12500 so rebate is allowed to the extent of 12500 health and education says allowed only after applying 87a rebate if a person is uh, if a person is earning uh, uh, for example uh, let us assume that my income is 5 lakh in the uh, for the financial year uh, other stay, uh, in that time my total tax liability will be my total tax liability will be 12,500 so 12,500 is increased by 4 percent right so 12,500 plus 4 percent I need to pay total of 13,000 but my rebate is 12,500 uh, and, and also my and also my income was within the limit of 5 lakhs so I uh, so I should not I should not apply rebate I should apply rebate only after applying section 87a rebate third point uh, rebate is allowed to STCG or LTC. STCG is nothing but short term capital gain and LTC is nothing but long term capital gain under section 111A, 111A. So, uh, so 87A rebate is allowed to 
allow to short term capital gain or long term capital gain under section 111 a no rebate is allowed to long term capital gain under section 112 so rebate is allowed only to long term capital gain or short term capital gain under section 111 a but uh, but rebate is uh, but rebate is not allowed to long term capital gain under section 112 a okay then the next step is surcharge surcharge will be um, surcharge is uh, such as nothing but additional uh, additional uh, additional tax income uh, and also the rate of uh, rate of percentage if your income is within the limit of uh, within the limit of 1 crore but uh, but your income exceeds 50 lakh so your income exceeds 50 lakh but within the limit of 1 crore then the percentage of surcharge will be 10 percentage if your income exceeds 1 crore but within the limit of crore crore then the surcharge percentage will be 15 percentage if your income exceeds 2 crore but but below 5 crore then the surcharge will be 25 percentage if your income exceeds 5 crore then the percentage of rebate will be 37 percentage so the concept of margin relief 50 lakhs to 1 crore what happens is uh, if your income is uh, if your income is above 50 lakh but you uh, but within the limit of 1 crore then the surcharge will be 10 percentage if you apply surcharge um, what happens is uh, that the tax payable will be exceeding the amount of income you earn for that um, for the drawback income tax department introduced a new concept called as margin relief if your income does not exceed 51 lakh 95900 if your income does not exceed 51 lakh 95900 you can you are eligible for margin relief concept if your income exceeds 51 lakh 95900 you are not eligible for margin relief and you have to pay the pay the surcharge as calculator so this is the limit for an uh, for a person who is below 60 and for the person whose age is above 60 but below 80 if his income is above 50 lakhs but within the limit of uh, 1 crore then for that person is his income should not exceed 51 lakh 95520 for the person whose age is above 80 his his income should not exceed 51 lakh 95 51 lakh 94030 if his income exceeds 1 crore but within the limit of 4 crore for the person who is below 60 his income should not exceed 1 crore 2 lakh 14700 for the person who is above 80 his income should not exceed 1 crore 2 lakh 14500 for the person whose age is above 80 his income should not exceed 1 crore 2 lakh 13740 if his income exceeds 2 crore but within the limit of 5 crore then what happens is for the person whose age is below 60 his income should not exceed 2 crore 9 lakh 30,000 for the person whose age is above 60 but but below 80 his income should not exceed 2 crore 9 lakh 29,600 for the person whose age is above 80 his income should not exceed 2 crore 9 lakh 28,000 for the person who is uh, so suppose if the suppose the income of the person exceeds 50 crore for that person his income should not exceed for the concept of margin relief 5 crore 30 lakh 17,830 if his if his age is above 60 but below 80 then his income should not exceed 5 crore 30 lakh 17,320 for the person whose age is above 80 his income should not exceed 5 crore 30 lakh 15,280 only uh, only if he satisfies this that the concept of margin relief is applicable if he does not satisfy this this percentage of surcharge will be applicable to the respective persons then elton education says elton education says is an additional says uh, added to the add, uh, is an additional says added to the tax payable so percentage of filter education says is four percentage So next to concept is maximum marginal tax rate. What is the maximum percentage of a person can be? It is normally the highest percentage of tax rate is 30% plus plus the highest percentage of surcharge is 37%. So I am going to add plus 37%. Then the total will be coming at 41.1%. Then we need to add 4% as rate. Right. So plus 4%. So it will be coming at 42.744 is the maximum percentage of income tax rate for a normal person. Important points. Yeah. 
person born on 1st April would be considered to have attained age on 1st March a day preceding the anniversary of his birthday for example if a uh, for example if a person who uh, who born on 1st April 2019 let us consider if a person was born on 1st April 2019 is um, what what does the income tax say is if a, per, if a person born on 1st April 2019 he is considered to have completed the he, he was considered to complete that age on 31st March on the next on, on the next of april one the new age will be starting example a person born on 1st april 1940 would be considered to have attained 80 years on 31st march 2020 and shall be treated as a very senior citizen for assessment year 2020 2021 the concept is clear right next income tax debt special rate what are all the income would be taxed at the special rate in income tax first dividend from domestic company there is a uh, there is a amendment which will uh, amendment uh, which will be uh, what can say there is a amendment in this section okay let us let uh, us discuss later dividend from domestic company is taxed at the percentage of 10 percentage which in dividend will be taxed from domestic company in this financial year only if his income sorry if if the dividend from the company exceeds 10 lakh long term capital gain all assets except listed shares except the listed shares whatever the income which is long term capital gain would be taxed at the rate of 20 percentage long term capital gain on listed share exceeding 1 lakh so if you are long term capital gain if you are long term capital gain by sale of shares does not exceed 1 lakh you, you your income won't be taxed if your income exceeds 1 lakh that the income exceeded would be taxed at the rate of 10 percentage short term capital gain on sale of listed shares the percentage is 15 percentage casual income casual casual income like battery gambling all those will be taxed at the rate of 30 percent okay note if basic exemption limit is not fully exhausted then the income taxable special rate will be adjusted to the extent of unexhausted basic exemption what they are saying is uh, consider consider my normal income is 2 lakh and i have a casual income of 3 lakh now what happens is uh, as i'm uh, as i'm within the age of 60 my basic exemption limit is 2.5 lakh right but i does not uh, but uh, but my but my income stand at 2 lakh what i can do what i can do is in the income of casual income 3 lakh i can transfer 50000 to the basic exemption limit so the remaining 2.5 lakh will be taxed at the rate of 30 percentage okay next long term capital gain on sale on listed shares through the stock exchange taxed at a special rate of 10 percentage after availing an exemption of 1 lakh what they are saying is if i am uh, if i am selling a share which is listed uh, and also i need to make a sale in the recognized stock exchange by paying stt okay at that time if the sale condition if the sale consideration does not exceed 1 lakh i don't have to pay tax but if my sale consideration exceeds 1 lakh the, the amount exceeded above 1 lakh i need to pay the tax of 10 percentage next due date due date for filing income tax return on on which date we need to file income tax return if the assessee is subject to tax audit under section 44ab if if a assessee is subject to tax audit under section 44ab means then he need to file return within the period of 30 to within a period of september 30 if a person is not subject to tax audit means he need to he need to file a return on his income before 31st july Now, what is meant by casual income? Casual income under Section 115 BB, winning from lotteries, crossword puzzles, races, including odds races, card games, and other games of any sort or form, gambling from gambling or betting of any f- form or nature. Note, the above income is tax at rate of 30 percent, as we discussed earlier. Chapter 6A direction that is uh, that uh, that is Section 80. Section eighty won't be available. This is mentioned under section fifty-four. This was prescribed under section fifty-eight of four. 
basic exemption limit basic exemption is not available so the basic exemption is not available expenditure incurred for earning such income is not allowed as deduction for example if i buy a lottery ticket for the uh, for the cost of 1000 and i one year cash price of uh, of our own let's consider 10000 and the 1000 which i spent on lottery won't be considered as won't be considered as expenditure and the income i earned 10000 will be taxed at a rate of 30 percentage so so the amount 3000 will be taxable yeah, right. 3000 will be tax payable no loss can be set off against the cash value income i cannot set off any losses against the cash value income from other rates okay tax rate for any other any other category of person this means what they are saying is tax rate for the person other than individual for the firm and the llp the amount of tax rate is 30 amount of tax rate is 30 percentage but the surcharge will be applicable only if the income exceeds 1 crore at the rate of 12 percentage for the local authority the amount of tax is 30 percentage 12 percentage of tax payable if income exceeds 1 crore only if its income exceeds 1 crore i need to pay a tax along with surcharge of 12 percentage okay this is for cooperative society for the cooperative society on first 10000 that the tax rate will be 10 percentage on the next 10000 that the tax rate will be 20 percent and the income about 20 about 20000 will be taxed at the rate of 30 percent then i can simply say if the cooperative society earn uh, earn income up to 10000 will be 10 percentage the income exceeding 10000 but within the limit of 20000 will be taxed at the rate of 20 percent and the income exceeding 20000 will be taxed at the rate of 30 percent along with surcharge 12 percentage of tax payable if total income exceeds 1 crore next check companies this is for domestic companies and this is for foreign companies in the domestic company we have two concepts if the if the if the domestic company turnover exceeds 400 crore in the financial year 2017-18 they will be taxed at the rate of 30 percent if the domestic company does not earn up if the sorry if the turnover of the domestic company uh, does not exceed 400 crore then the company will be taxed at the rate of 25 percentage and also there is a surcharge surcharge for the company if the total income sorry if the tax payable okay if the ta sorry if the total income exceeds 1 crore the company needs to pay along needs to pay tax along with the, along with the surcharge of 10 percentage if the total income exceeds 10 crore the company has to pay tax along with the surcharge of 12 percentage for the foreign company that the tax rate will be 40 percentage but if the but if the total income exceeds 2 crore but within the limit of 10 crore that the, then the foreign company has to pay surcharge of 2 percentage if the total income exceeds 10 crore then the foreign company has to pay tax at the rate of 5 percentage note new tax rate related to the company are given under section 115 ba 115 ba is nothing but 25 percentage and 115 BAA at the rate of 22 percent, 115 BAB at the rate of 15 percent. Section 150 BA, BAA and section BAB inserted in tax law audit, saying inserted by the Taxation Law Act 2019. It is added only in the financial year of 2019. Okay. Okay. Now let us discuss about the amendment which made in which made in Finance Act 2019. Okay, in the Finance Act 2019, Finance Minister has made two amendments regarding section 115 BAA and 115 BAB, which is an optional to the company. Let us discuss about the section. Applicable from assess May 2021, applicable from assess May 2021. Both are applicable for assessment 2021. First, let us first let us discuss about the section 115 BAA. 115 BAA is applicable only to domestic company, and the percentage of tax will be 22 percentage. Surcharge will be 10 percentage. Sales will be 4 percentage. There is no condition, but the company has to forego certain benefits. Let us discuss what are the benefits. The company has to forego benefits under section 10 aa which is relating to special economic zone and the company cannot capitalize additional depreciation which is uh, this is applicable only to manufacturing company and the company 
cannot capitalize section 32 ad deduction de deduction for investment in new plant and machinery in four states this is applicable only to four states which is on the pradesh bigar telangana and west bengal next the section 33 ab which is relating to tea coffee rubber development allowance which is uh, which is not in our chapter 33 aba site restoration fund uh, such as uh, what can i say is uh, extraction of natural gas like that for that benefit then section 35 ad deduction won't be applicable in uh, de deduction in respect of expenditure on 14 specified business such as coal chain business warehousing for agriculture that kind of benefit are not applicable sorry i forgot one point section 35 certain expenses for scientific research this is uh, such as what can i say is a uh, weighted deduction if you spent 100 rupees uh, the income tax will give 150 rupees such as weighted deduction are available in this section that is not that is not allowed section 35 ccc expenditure on agriculture extension project is not applicable or not available the section 35 ccd expenditure on skill development project if the company spends some amount on uh, if a company spends some amount for the skill development of its employees that deduction won't be applicable to the company so not i can't say it's applicable that such deduction won't be allowed to the company then no chapter 6 deduction expert except section 80 jja except section 80 jja no chapter 6 edition is allowed to the company who are following section 115 baa and 115 bab no set off of losses allowed from yearly arrears due to above mentioned points for these sections if the company has any uh, if the company has any losses if the if the company is following this section the company cannot set off its losses and under this 11 points applicable to both section 115 baa and 115 bab let us discuss about the section 115 bab section 115 bab is a uh, is allowed only to new domestic company engaged in manufacturing research or distribution relating in relation to the articles manufactured articles what they are saying is section 115 BAB is applicable only to the company which is a manufacturing unit or, or the company should be engaged in research and development regarding manufacturing article or the company has to be engaged in distribution of the manufacturing article F only for these companies only for these three companies section BAB is applicable then the tax rate will be 15% and the surcharge will be 10% and the assess will be 4% for this section there are certain conditions a company has been set up and registered on or on or after 1st october 2019 and commenced manufacturing or on or or 31st march 2023 what they are saying is a company has to be registered on or after october 2019 and then the company should start business before 31st march 2023 not formed by splitting up splitting up means demerger a company should not be formed by the by the means of demerger or the or the internal reconstruction business already in existence a company a company was already in existence but the manufacturing or or um or or, or the or the research and development regarding or the research and development regarding the article or the distribution regarding manufacturing article the company should not be formed by the mean of internal reconstruction a company should not use any old machinery or plant which is 20 percent old a company should not use an asset which is which is older more than 20 percent so the company can use the asset which can which is uh, which is old to the extent of 20 percent However, a machinery imported into India from any other country outside India will be treated as a new for this section because in India because in India the asset was not used so the asset which is imported from foreign will, would be considered as a new asset does not use any building previously used as a hotel or convention center a building used by the company should not be previously used for the purpose of hotel or for the convention center. A company is 
not engaged in any business other than the business specified what are all the business specified above is the company should be a manufacturing company or the company should be a research and development regarding the manufacture article or the company should be engaged in distribution of the manufacturing article only for these three company this, this section section 115 bab is applicable okay next is applicability of mat uh, if the company follows these two sections section 115 ba and 115 bab for these two companies minimum alternative tax is not applicable that is mat the mat is not applicable but there is a uh, but what happens is once the companies exercise this section a company cannot came out a company cannot come out of this section mandatory for subsequent years a company has to follow follow this section mandatory for all the subsequent years unless the government changes the policy sorry un unless the government change make change in the section then for this company there is no mad right only for these two sections followed company does uh, don't have to pay mad but in the existing session that is that is if a company follows uh, tax at the rate of 30 percentage if the company turnover exceeds 400 crore in the financial year 2017 18 or if the company follows tax at the rate of 25 percentage whose turnover is below 400 crore this uh, this company has to pay mat at the rate of 15 percentage thank you